Dear students, in this video, we have covered 134 important GK questions and answers on Indian coins with explanation to make this video informative for you so that you can get prepared for your competitive examinations. However, in this part of video, we have given only 10 questions and other questions are covered in another parts of video. You can get the link of other parts videos in the description box. So, let's start. Question 121. Who is the first foreign ruler to show an Indian deity on its coins. Your options are A. Menander B. Kanishk C. Katfaisis Second D. Moise Your time starts now. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 The right answer is B. Kanish. On Kanishka's coins, gods and goddesses from India, Greece, Iran and Sumeria have been found, which shows that he was open to different religions. In the first years of his rule, he used Greek writing and language on the coins he made, and they also had Greek gods on them. Question 122. Which Western Shatrapa ruler issued dated silver coins? Your options are A. Nahapana B. Rudradaman C. Rudra Simha first, D. Kanishk. Your time starts now. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The right answer is A. Nahapana. Nahapana started making silver coins in western India that had the head of the king on one side and weighed between 2.1 and 2.2 gram. This type of coin was used by the next family of western Chhatrapa rulers and many other dynasties in the area for the next 400 to 500 years. The coins of the Chhatrapas are very rich and interesting. These coins are very useful because they show the name of the king, the name of his father and the date they were made. They have helped us learn more about India's early past. Question 123. Which ruler issued coins bearing trilingual scripts? Your options are A. Eucratides, B. Nahapana, C. Gondophers, D. Rudradaman. Your time starts now. 5, 4, 3, 2, one. The right answer is B. Nahapana. During the Sasanian era, Nahapana satraps who controlled in India as far south as Kuch, Gujarat and Saurashtra had coins produced with three different inscriptions on them, Greek, Brahmi and Kharoshti. Question 124. Jogal Thambi coin hoard containing numerous coins of Nahapana restruck by Gautami Putra Satkarni has been found from. Your options are a. Nasik B. Gujarat C. Mumbai D. Pushkar Your time starts now. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 The right answer is A. Nasik The powerful Satvahan king Gautami Putra Satkarni is credited for over stamping several of Nahapana's coins which were discovered in a trove of Jogal Thambi, which is located in the Nasik district. These coins show the Ujjain symbol in addition to an Akchaitya, which is a type of Buddhist shrine. Question 125. Which coins represented Kartike by the names Skand, Kumar, Vishakha and Mahasena? Your options are A. Katfaisis second, B. Kanishk, C. Huvish, D. Vasudev. Your time starts now. 5, 4, 3, Two, one. The right answer is C. Huvish. Huvishka's Kartike type coins come in a lot of different shapes and styles. The god is shown standing alone with the name Mahasena or with the tail Skand Kumaro Bigazo written next to it. Kartike, the god of war, is also known by the names Skand and Kumar. Skand Kumar and Vishakha. Two gods are shown on one of these coins, which is rare and very valuable. Skand is the son of Lord Shiv. He is also known by the names Kumar Swami and Kartike. He is thought to be the god of war. So another name for him is Mahasena. Question 126. When was earliest silver coin issued by Chandragupta II? Your options are A. 320 AD B. 409 AD C. 275 AD D. 480. Your time starts now. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The right answer is B. 409 AD. There are no known silver coins from the early Gupta kings. During the rule of Chandgup II, sometime after the Gupta year, 409 AD, he came into contact with the Malwa region where the silver coins of the western Chhatrapas were in use. This is when these coins were first made. Chandgup II was the first Gupta king to make silver coins called Rupak. 
Chandragupta's rule must have come to an end between 412 and 415 CE. Question 127. Who says in his commentary on the Vinay Pitak that during Bimsar a kahapana was equal to 20 masaka? Your options are A. Panini, B. Buddh Ghosh, C. Vach Ghosh, D. None of the above. Your time starts now. Five, four, three, two. One. The right answer is B. Buddh Ghosh. Buddh Ghosh said in his commentary on the Vinay Pitak that during Bimsar, a kahapana was equal to 20 masaka. Buddh Ghosh, who lived in the early 5th century CE, is the most productive and important writer in Pali. Vinay Pitak or Basket of Discipline in Pali and Sanskrit is the oldest and smallest of the three parts of the Buddh Chronical Tripitak. Buddhist Canonical Tripitak, Triple Basket, and it is one that controls monastic life and the day-to-day -day activities of monks and nuns based on rules that are said to have come from the Buddh. Question 128. Who was Lachna Dech mentioned in Arthasast? Your options are A. Officer in charge of food B. Superintendent of the Mint C. Issuer of coin money D. Manager of the Mint Your time starts now. 5, 4, 3, 2, One. The right answer is B. Superintendent of the Mint. The person who oversaw the production of coins or the superintendent of the coin minting was known as Lakshanadhyach. The Lakshanadhyach was tasked with the responsibility of minting coins on the king's behalf. The ancient Indian philosopher Chanakya, also known as Kautilya, is credited with writing the earth sas which is a text on governance written in the sanskrit language question 129 who is hiranya swami your options are a issuer of coin money b administrator officer c officer in charge of food d officer in charge of jewelers your time starts now 5 4 3 2 One. The right answer is A. Issuer of coined money. Hiranya means gold. Most likely, Hiranya was a tax paid in cash or gold. Whereas, Swami refers to the master. Therefore, Hiranya Swami refers to the issuer of coined money. Question 130. Which of the following coins were issued for bigger transactions in ancient India? Your options are A. Gold coins B. Silver coins C. Copper coins D. Coverage Your time starts now. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 One. The right answer is A. Gold coins. Gold Gupta coins were made in big numbers and their good looks have been credited to them. But during the later Guptas, gold became less and less pure. Gold coins show how powerful a kingdom is and how much money it has. Around 270 BC, these coins were first seen in India. Question 131. Who gave the theory of origin of Indian coins? Your options are A. Rapson B. Thomas C. Cunningham D. All of the above. Your time starts now. 5 4 3 2 1 The right answer is D all the above scholars like Dr D R Bandarkar Edward Thomas Alexander Cunningham E J Rapson and many others have come up with theories about where coins came from in India question 132 as per chinese pilgrim fayan what was used for purchasing very cheap commodities your options are a gold coins b silver coins c copper coins d cartridge your time starts now 5 4 3 2 One. The right answer is D. Cowrie. Small deals were usually paid for with cowrie sales. In the early 5th century, Faxian, who was also called Faian, was the first Chinese person to visit India. Faian was a religious traveler from China who went to India during the rule of Chandragupta II. Cowrie sales were used by the common people for small-scale business transactions in large numbers. People say that just like coins, cowrie sales had a clear value on the market question 133 who among the following huna kings was first to issue coins in india your options are a turanmana b muhirekula c kingila d yashovarman your time starts now 5 4 3 2 One. The right answer is A. Toramana. Toramana full name was Toramana Shahi 
Jawla was the first Hona king to issue coins in India. Title Great King of Kings, which means an emperor, was used in his inscriptions, especially in the Iran board inscription. Hope you like these general knowledge questions. If you really like them, please like my video, share my video among your friends, and also to subscribe my channel. If you have any query or suggestion, please write them to the comment box. Thank you so much.